Hello and greetings to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I trust everyone had a great day in our beloved Savior, our Holy Redeemer, our joy, our happiness, our peace and our contentment. King Yeshua HaMashiach, King Jesus, whom I love with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, and everything in me, beyond comprehension. I'd like to give out Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. If there's anyone listening that does not know our precious Savior and Redeemer, and Coco always starts coughing away when I start the video. <laughs> Hold on a second. Coco. Okay. Go see Daddy. Go see Daddy. Go get him. Okay. That always happens. Every time I start a video, he starts coughing. And he's fine hours up until until I start. Okay. As I was saying, I'm trying to gather my thoughts. If you do not know our precious Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach, who gave his life for us, for me, and for the whole world, please fall on your knees and give your life to our eternal Savior and King because He loves you. He loves you. He loves whosoever because He loves all of His creation. And verses 9 and 10 tells you from His very words what to do to be saved. How to invite King Yeshua into your heart and your life to live and abide with you. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Those are the two things that God is telling you how to be saved. You must confess our Lord Jesus with your mouth and you must believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. You must come to him in complete repentance, a sincere heart, for he knows the proud and haughty heart and God resists that. He resists the proud but he lifts up the humble. And our beautiful king will never turn anyone away. That's what his word says. And if you'd like to know more about our most precious redeemer, read the gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Each offer a different um, way of reading about our, our precious King in their own ways. But all is precious. All of God's Word is instructions for us, His creation, on how to live, on how to live, how to obey our righteous God, because it has His commandments in here. And no, they are not old-fashioned, no, God never changes. God never changes. Do not listen to the world that says God's word is too old-fashioned, that you don't have to listen to it anymore. That is false, complete false, a lie from the devil. God's word is pure truth. It is infallible and it is flawless. 
and you can read it for anything that's going on in your life and it will have instructions for you of course the main thing is to talk and commune with our King Yeshua and he will get you through anything that you need to get through but he holds his arms open out <laughs> he holds his arms out open for you waiting to embrace you and um, like I said if you want to know more about our precious perfect Savior what he did for me what he did for you read his Gospels and even if you start in the Old Testament you'll find God's heart right there because it's all throughout his word talking about God's heart for his creation Amen and praise our wonderful God and let us praise him let us praise him and uplift him and exalt him in our hearts our holy and mighty glorious God Jehovah in your beautiful and holy spirit and your oh so precious son King Yeshua HaMashiach I come to you through your precious son For he is the way, the life, and the truth. And no one can come to the Father except by him. And I come to you, Father, to your throne of grace, to your throne of mercy and love and truth through your precious Son. Through his sacrifice that he did for me and for the world for my wretched sins and as you look at me Father you see that I am covered in King Yeshua's perfect blood his sinless blood and I know that it turns your wrath away from me for that is what your word says that you accepted King Yeshua's one-time sacrifice for he is the Lamb of God he was slain before the foundations of the earth everything was known and planned out before man could even comprehend you're so amazing you're so amazing it just blows my mind you're so beyond comprehension my holy God and I love that I love that you're my God my holy God I love that you're beyond comprehension I love that you're indescribable. I love that no man in their finite mind can ever understand you. I love you as my God, the master of the universe. And you are my everything. You are my all in all. And I try to live for you and deny my flesh and pick up my cross every day and not to worry about tomorrow but to just stay in your precious son who is my complete happiness and joy and how I love him so. I love you my glorious God thank you for all the blessings all the presence all the gifts 
and all the surprises that you give me and your faithful. And King Yeshua's holy, perfect, and mighty name. Amen and amen. Okay. I got a vision. I'm going to read Father's Word. And after Father's Word, I have something that he wants me to um, tell you and show you. So, the vision... I received it uh, during morning prayer this morning, 12 February. Here it goes. I see this person on a gurney getting up. And this is like in a, not in a hospital scene, but more of a lab, scientific scene, scientific lab. And all of these people are standing by watching. And I also see what looked like the aliens that I had seen in a dream around two years ago. And I think that's in my testimony. I can't remember. Um, but it was a dream of the fallen angels. And let me see my place here. And they were also standing around the gurneys with the people. Then there were many different ages of people getting up from these gurneys. I saw a child and I saw older adults men and women and I hear clone their DNA mixed with the daughters of men and the fallen angels their blood polluted and tainted they are soulless and are not of me only I create souls of my creation as the days of Noah were so shall the coming of my son be okay and the scripture that goes along with this is Matthew 24, 37 to 39. Go see daddy. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 37 I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 10.56 a.m. on 12 February 2016 daughter of my very own heart and my son's heart, right as you hear my, my words pouring forth to you for my children to hear and to understand. Children of light, my son continues to prepare you. You are going to do mighty feats of his love, excuse me, and God's holy power. As I gave my daughter a dream of her receiving my latter rain upon her head, the demon could not hold her arms, for it burned him. So shall my son Yeshua's mighty faithful be filled with my holy power and fire. Some shall receive this in a gradual sense, and some shall receive all of a sudden, such as the disciples did on Pentecost. Either way, you will receive it. My children of earth that have scoffed and mocked, saying, Where is the coming of his promise? All of my prophets and messengers are soon to be vindicated as events will begin to unfold, as my perfect word says. Again, my stiff-necked children, get into my holy scriptures if you want to know what is coming to this rebellious land in a short, short span of time. It is important to know who the evil is and what they are going to do, for you will be able to be very deceived if you do not know. If you do not think that this is the last generation, then you do not know my word. As the days of Noah was, so shall the coming of my son be. Read Genesis, my children. Read Matthew 24. Read Daniel. Read the Revelation book. Look, my haughty children, who are busybodies and gossipers and full of iniquities. 
Look, my backbiters and thieves and murderers, read what my son says, what is in your heart shall come forth. If you walk uprightly with God and obey me and my commandments, then I am your strength and your song. If you walk around with your heart full of deceit, then you are going to be a reckless fool who I will confound with the simple. Look and see what time it is. Look at all the messages that your God has sent and continues to send to all of his holy children. Read my warnings. Father Yahweh, preparing warning after warning to the people of earth, has spoken. Now what he wanted me to show you, and I hope I can do this for the camera correctly. When I, were, when I was um, getting the scripture for this message, this is what I do. I copy, you know, I find the scripture from Bible Hub, or um, I think it's the King James, I don't know if it's called the Online Bible or, or what, but it, the search always gives me Bible Hub and that one, and I use that one um, quite a lot. So anyway, I copy and I paste it to the Word document, and you're going to see how it all comes out. It comes out with different fonts and different, um, sometimes different colors, but different sizes of the fonts. And so whenever I was copying and pasting this one that pertains to um, this generation, what does it say? Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled, which is what Father just said in his word also, his message. Um, I'm going to show you how it showed up. So bear with me. I'm going to put this into, except I want it to be large. So I'm going to put this as large as I can. Let me see if it still has... Okay, so this is trying to get this to where I can see the camera and do this at the same time because I want you to see what he wanted me to show you and the light that he wanted me to show you it. Well, I think you'll get the gist of it. Okay, so I'm going to point my camera to my computer screen, and this is what I'm going to show you the beginning of the Word document, and then I'll scroll down to what I want, what he wants you to see. So hold on a second. Let me see if I can get this to do right. Yeah. Okay, so this is the beginning of the Word document, and you can see it comes up to different um, size fonts and everything as I paste the scriptures to it. And then this is what came up, how the font came up, and the size of it. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things, till all these things be fulfilled. And I apologize for because I'm trying to go left and right. And, but compare this, the size font, to the rest of it, and none of it, none of it was as big as that. So he wanted me to show you that. It's another um, confirmation that that is what is about to come to pass. We are the last generation. Okay, so let me see if I can get this back to the Bible. There we go. So that's what he wanted me to show you. And I'm going to give Numbers, the Aaronic Blessing, Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. And, hello. Wow, stop. Please. Stop, little puppy. Okay. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, 
On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee, and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In the holy and mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Hashem Adonai. Amen and Shalom.